to be able to use user-centered and human-centered approach effectively, you have to learn to be an interesting and good human being to begin with. That, that, and respect and the empathy is very important. Well, and and the, 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 that's a great tip, but I can imagine some people look at you and think, well... <laughs> they are very positive. Are, they are very positive. Uh, in fact, that is something I, de I do, uh, that's how I do uh, answer my students. And for the last five years, I, we have created a new slogan for the school, responsible and respectable. Re respectable. It, we have to, you have to learn to be res res respon res responsible in order to be a respect respectable designer. And, and do you think, uh, do you think these are skills that you have to have intrinsically or are these things that we can learn ourselves, we can develop? I, I certainly believe those things can be nurtured, and uh, we have to provide a good education environment. The students, we are providing so educational services to students. So we are constantly looking at how we can create the right social and the physical environment for students to be able to understand the quality of human being, the empathy of uh, users, in order for them to use the hands-on skills effectively mm -hmm. in real social and the business context. So we never pay, play down any of the traditional hands-on skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned, in order to make hands-on skills effectively, we have to be a good, to be a good human. Be a, be a good human. That's the, probably the best tip we've gotten so far on this show. <laughs>